This is a story of a lumberjack named Jeff. He wears plaid shirts and has a fetching beard. But he doesn't literally chop down trees because he chops down trees by throwing all his ideas in the garbage can over and over and over. He fancies himself a writer, but he's never been published because no one has read his stories. And the publishers would send back rejection letters in the droves like it was fan mail, fans of hating his writing. Dear Jeff, I read your story. If we ever want to create a book that will be used to torture people, we will contact you. Till then, good luck. The publisher of some big company. Dear Jeff, I'd rather slit my throat with paper cuts than read anything else from you. Please don't send again, cordially. Another other publisher from a smaller company that publishes everything, well, almost everything. If a tree falls in a forest and no one hears it, did it really fall? If a writer writes and no one ever reads it, did he ever write? Is he a writer? He had piles and piles of stories that he never submitted that just lived in the trash. He always thought they were too weird for people, too odd, characters that would never meet anyone else. But what are all these stories that live in his trash can? Let's see. Here's a story. We've all heard of Big Ben. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. But have you heard of Little Ben? Hi, I'm Little Ben. Little Ben fixes watches. This is Big Ben. He's Little Ben's brother. Yes, Big Ben's a real person. And they named the clock that he built after him. Pretty famous, I'd say. Little Ben was pretty unfamous, but the two brothers would hang out and have so much fun together. Little Ben always felt like he lived in his brother's big shadow. I just feel little in this big world. It's because you are little. I want to matter, but I feel like I don't. You can be as big as you want, little brother. I believe in you. Then one day, Big Ben got kidnapped by an evil villain who wanted Big Ben to make a bigger Ben clock. All the while, Little Ben was going crazy on what to do. Uh, I need to save Big Ben, but, but I'm so little. There's nothing I can do. You can be as big as you want, little brother. I believe in you. Then, Little Ben had an idea. He went and found the evil villain's bodyguard having a smoke break. And he planned to crawl up the leg of the evil villain and get inside his butt. I have a knife in here, and if you don't do what I want you to do, I'm gonna bleed you out. You're my puppet, you understand? Dance, puppet, dance. Oh, you are just a terrible dancer. This is embarrassing. Oh, what is that smell? This is terrible down here. What have you been eating? It smells like a old man's asshole, and the old man ate a lot of broccoli. This is terrible. Bark like a dog. Be a pony pony boy.
Your boss has my brother, and you're gonna help me get him back, my little puppet. Let's go on to another story. This is Meat Hand Matt. He has meat for hands. Which has caused a lot of problems. No one wants to hug him because, well, he has meat for hands. And hugs are important. Because after a long day of everyone looking at you like you are disgusting, you need a hug. So Meat Hand Matt wanted to eat his hands because he hated them and wanted hugs. And also because he was really, really hungry. I wanna do it, I wanna eat these hands. I'm so fucking hungry, I wanna eat them. But thank God he had a friend. A friend named Pickle Paul, to be exact. Don't eat your hands, meat hand man. Because then you won't have any hands. What's the point, Pickle Paul? I can't touch anything, no one will hug me. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat my hands. That's a good point. Those hands of yours, they are pretty disgusting. The more I look at them, the more I want to puke in my little pickle mouth. So they cooked his hands, and they sat down, and they ate them. His hands were pretty good. Now he was handless, Matt. But no one wanted to hang out with him, because he was a cannibal. But the thing Meatless Hand Matt found out is that sometimes you just need to hug yourself first before others can hug you. Love yourself, Matt. Love yourself. Let's read one more story. This is a story about a girl who followed every rule. Her name is Ruli Rulerson. She makes sure her skirt isn't too short. She follows the directions on the toothpaste to put the right amount of toothpaste. She brushes her teeth three minutes, just like her dentist subscribed. She has a rule book. She drinks eight glasses of water a day. She also has one apple a day to keep the doctor away. She never walks in the cycle lane. She carried a ruler with her, so when she had bad thoughts of breaking rules, she would spank herself on her hand. She was friends with Francie Fouquet. Francie broke all the rules. And it drove Ruly crazy. Francie would go jaywalking. She would text and walk. She was run when it said no running. She broke every rule. She would eat on the subway. She would pirate movies on her laptop. Ruli Rulerson knew one day that Francie Fouquet would be in great peril. 
But what could she do? One day, Francie walked on to some grass that said to keep off and ate a sandwich and started choking to death. However, Francie was on the don't walk on the grass sign. So Ruli couldn't do anything. She wanted to help, but she kept hitting herself with a ruler to stop herself. Francie Fouquet died that day, and Ruli was broken, just like the rules that Francie broke. Ruli now wanted to break every rule. Why did rules exist? She decided to ignore every rule. Walk on the pike lane. Throw litter down. She dropped feminine products in the toilet. She put different silverware in different silverware holding areas. She'd even spit in plants. Because now she had a new rule of not following every rule. Well, that's enough stories for now. Let's get back to Jeff. Hey Jeff, it's me, down here. Hey little Ben, what are you doing here man? I thought I threw you away. You did, don't remind me Jeff. Why are you so sad? You weren't ever thrown in the garbage like me. Well I'm a terrible writer. I should just stop wasting everyone's time. Throw myself in the garbage. Did you know you're a garbage can hit? What? Yeah, the garbage can world loves you. Apple cores. Old lamps, dirty band-aids, orange peels, banana peels, everything. They all love you. They love your work. Really? Yeah. I mean, you're a bestseller in the garbage community. Little Ben is a huge hit. I get laid all the time because of you. Meathead Matt is another. Ruli Rulerson. Those are very strange ideas, though. I thought that those were too weird for other people, so I threw them away. Nah. I mean, they're beautiful. People love them. Originally, when you threw me in the trash, I felt horrible, like you never loved me. And I wish your whole house burned down. And then you died in a fire. And then a pack of rabid dogs came, and they all had sex with your corpse. Well, the thing is that I did love you, Ben. I didn't think other people would, so I threw you away. So that way, you wouldn't feel like trash. Like me. So, so you didn't want me to feel like trash and then you threw me in the trash? Yeah, that was really smart. But actually, I'm kind of glad you did. Because they love me down here. And really, they love you too. Wow, so they really do love me. I'm just worried that those stories are too weird for people. Nah, that's you being a scared little bitch. Weird is good. It means you're different. It means you could create me. You're not that weird, Ben. You're just little. Dude, you made me crawl up someone's butt and control them like a human puppet. It's weird, and I love it. So, what I made you do is weird. And I'm gonna continue to be weird. Of course you are. It's who you are. You are Beardo the Weirdo. Now, do you wanna talk to your fans? Yeah. Guys, I want you all to meet a legend, Jeff. Jeff, you really inspired me to be more than trash. Jeff, you changed my life. I wanted to just be recycled, and now I just want to live. Jeff, I know I'm just a rotten cantaloupe, but I just want to make love to you. Jeff, my love for you lasts forever. I'm a styrofoam cup and we never, ever buy 
biodegrade. Garbage! Garbage can ideas from a man named Jack. Garbage! Garbage can ideas from a man named Jack. He had fans in a band aid. He had fans in a banana peel. He had fans in a dirty diaper. He had fans in the garbage can. He had fans in the garbage can. Oh, can I get garbage? Garbage can ideas from a man named Jeff. Garbage. Garbage can ideas from a man named Jeff.